So what about this match? Five games to go, you're two points clear of Spurs. Is it a two-horse race now for the top four? I don't think so. I think they're, they're going to be still twists and turns. We all have difficult matches to play. We all know how difficult it is to win the games in the Premier League. And um, and now we had two really good results that are putting again um, in a really good position. But it's again about doing it again with them. How big would three consecutive wins though be at this stage of the season? I think in the league when you are able to win consecutively away and at home, um, it gives you a huge platform and uh, and things quickly change. So we have some momentum now and we want to, to make the most out of it. Obviously you saw West Ham in action in Europe last night, They're in between Europa League semi-finals. How much is this an advantage to you on Sunday, do you think? They've been doing that all season and they've been really good in, in both competition. They have a, a big squad as well. They have many different options to change their, their players and still maintain the level. So um, I don't see that. We have played games uh, Wednesday night and, and Saturday 12.30. We have managed to beat them. So I don't think about that. Uh, the game at West Ham last year was spectacular. You were saying afterwards it would give you nightmares, <coughs> the 3-3 three, three draw. But how much do you think Arsenal have improved since that game with West Ham last season? Hopefully a lot, especially what we did in the first 20-30 minutes of, of that game that we put ourselves in a, in a really difficult position. It's true that we reacted phenomenally well, but um, obviously we want to start the game in, in a different way. Just two more. We've been speaking to Granite Jacker, who's been telling us um, how good a mental play season at the moment. What would you put down his renaissance at Arsenal to this season? Yeah. Things that are happening in his life, in his private life, he's, he's a father now, uh, he's been through a lot, uh, he's been through difficult moments here, <laughs> he's found, I think, a lot of support internally um, to deal with certain situation. his character, the way he approaches um, problems, how he's willing to, to, to change things, to improve constantly, to become a better person, a better player, and um, credit to him for what he's done. And just finally, on Jurgen Klopp's new contract at Liverpool, it's good news for Liverpool fans, but is it good news for the other teams? Do you think at the top of the Premier League trying to? We have we have enough deciding what is right for us. So whatever the other teams do, I, I, I'm assuming that they are doing to keep being at the best level. And Jurgen has shown what uh, he's done for that club in the last six, six years. Thank you. Roger from Premier League. Hi, Mikel. Um, first of all, you said it's not a two-horse race between yourself and Spurs, but you, you two are by, vying for that fourth spot. Um, looking at the way the fixtures pan out over the next, next five games, Spurs, I think, are playing before you in, in a few of those. Does, does that have any bearing, the way the fixtures fall? Is there a benefit to you that they played first or a benefit to them? I think nobody knows about that. So last time they played before us and we didn't take that advantage. Uh, it's gone the other way around as well. So I don't know. We can just focus in, in what we can do. Would it be a benefit if you saw that they had lost? Does that give something to your team going out there knowing that you can capitalise? If we win, yes. <laughs> and that's that's the best thing. If they lose and we win, obviously we are one game less in a, in a much stronger position. Um, as you mentioned before about West Ham, they are in between the, their two semi-final legs. Um, but we're seeing that their, their results have perhaps dropped off in the last month, couple of months or, or so. Are they finding out now how difficult it is to go deep into European competition and maintain a challenge in the Premier League? It is very demanding, but uh, you watch uh, yesterday's game and the chances that they created and the chances that they missed, the result could have been very, very different. So um, I don't think it's a performance issue. Um, and of course, it is demanding when you're playing three times a week. Um, from your point of view, you haven't had that distraction of Europe. And I know there's a lot of upset around Arsenal when they didn't qualify for Europe last season, but... Looking at it now, would you say you've benefited from being able to work with your squad now? They benefited from it. It's what we had and what we said is we we're going to try to make the most out of it and uh, try to play it in, in our favour and uh, try to take advantages um, from that situation. And with just these five games to go, and your, your squad has risen to challenges so far this season. Now it's coming down to the crunch. Is this a new experience, a learning experience for a lot of them now that they've got to get these results when it really, really matters if something riding on it? For most of them it is, uh, but it's been like this for the last uh, two or three months where, where everybody's talking about it and they can feel the importance of every match. But um, this is what we want, get to, to April and May and things to play for. Thank you. Thank you. George from BBC.